Hey guys, it's Mr. Aya. I'm gonna go through our Schoology right now for our parents and students who are confused because I know you have a lot of information out right now, so I thought this would be easier. I have stolen some ideas from my elementary kids and what their teachers are doing and trying to improve on it too that really helped me keep my kid on track or if you are a middle schooler, keep yourself on track. So here we go. So make sure, first of all, you're in the correct one. We're in a combined Schoology. Okay, so you're looking for the one that says IF Fall 2021 Middle School Percussion, 7th through 8th grade, Middle School Percussion, 7th and 8th grade, Garcia Sartarsha Middle School. Sorry, it's so wordy, but that's those are my options. Okay, if you look here, this is your main screen. So right here is where you, the bulk of our information is, but I'm, I want to make you aware of a couple things here. From your band director, that is information from Sartarsha or G Garcia, Mr. Morris, and from Sartarsha, Mrs. Amos, they will put stuff in there. Or if you have questions for your head director, please put them there. There's a discussion post that you can ask questions and they'll, they can see it because they're an admin on here. If you have general band questions, make sure you ask them. I'm not going to know the answer. I'll just be the middleman. I know about percussion specific information. So if it has to do with money or shirts or general band, things like that, I won't know the answers to that. I can tell you about percussion equipment, percussion curriculum, and percussion events. Just make sure you're you're asking the right person. Okay, right here, remote asynchronous. So let's say you're trying to log in and you had some troubles with your Wi-Fi and you kept trying, you kept trying, trying to be, to be a part of class. What I'm gonna want you to do is send me a message on Remind, which you should be signed up for, but we're gonna go over where that lives if you're not signed up yet. And then I want you to click on here to remote asynchronous and then write me, uh, this is a discussion, write me the problems you had because that's gonna do two things on our checklist communication, and then also that you looked on Schoology. That's gonna allow us to change your attendance and make it more correct. This is your second period Teams link, but all of you are probably getting through on the calendar. And then here's just your weekly schedule. Okay, let's dive into the purple folder. This is the main bulk of where everything lives. Obviously we have a welcome area here, and then again, your team's information. Right here we have parent resources, which we'll go over, but obviously that's for parents, And but some of it's redundant here. Now class info is where we're gonna have a lot of our info and resources. There's a lot of important stuff in there, uh, but I do wanna draw your attention to the yellow folder. The yellow folder is where all of your assignments are gonna be, and things like PDFs that will help with those assignments. I wanna dive into the course content instruction first. As you can see, I put grades are here just to simplify it for you. This is where you're gonna know, need to know what to do. All of your school folders should have your grading period one in your red folders. That should be in all your classes. So that's where most of it lives. Now these two things here are to help supplement things that we're gonna do in the first grading period. So let's look in here. So the first couple things are to help you be aware of how it's how things are going to work this week. And so this is just an overview of what we're what is due and when. And I'm going to go over that in a second. But I want you to be aware of something. Let's say we're in week two. There's the dates. I created a checklist because my elementary kids come home with checklists and it really helps me. And I actually went in further and made it just painfully obvious where everything is. So I tell you how to get to where you need to get to to know your assignments for the week. And then I put these assignments here so you can print this off and check that you did these things. Okay? Now, these assignments here, are you're going to see them underlined and bolded in your weekly schedule. So I'm going to show you that in a second. But I would really suggest printing this out so you can make sure you're going through your checklist. Okay? I, I have found checklists are so important. So I'm going to back it up here. All right, so right here, let's look at our next, this is uh, middle school week two through four. This is due date weekly, due dates and weekly schedule. I suggest that you print this. This is an overview of the next three weeks. Okay, so I see your kids Mondays and Thursdays, and then I see you for a little bit on Wednesdays. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it the same so we're consistent and we know what to expect. Modeling Mondays, I'm going to show you what is due by Friday. You have a major gr grade that's due every Friday that's based on your region music. And so I'm gonna go over that and make sure you're aware of what's due that week, although it already exists. Um, on Thursdays, you have, by the end of the day, you have some fundamental skills that are due. And so I'm also gonna be helping you out with the fundamental skills of the week. That's what I'm calling the FSW. And then every Monday at four to five, I have tutorials if you need it. And the link is in Schoology and I send it on Remind as well. So in class here, I have Mr. Choppa, the private lesson teacher, which I highly suggest you get in private lessons, even online, it's even more important. And we have plenty of lesson teachers, which I'll talk about more later. So parents, 
please sign up your kids for lessons. When I first started at Fort Penn ISD, I was shocked at how many kids were in lessons. So let's keep that going. We want pretty much 90% are in lessons. Okay, so besides the tutorials, you can see here the bolded assignments here are due for a grade. So you see when it says due, you know it's for a grade and I made it bold and underlined it. Now obviously that's not for a grade because that's optional. Uh, I just wanted to draw your attention to it. Sorry about that. But yeah, we have, as you can see, again, this was in your checklist to get your student and parent checklist printed and take a picture of it. And then we have these scales that are due on Thursday and you have your region cut that is due on Friday. Both of these need to be done with ensemble block or the play along track until you get ensemble block. We're going to go over ensemble block in a second and then I'm going to review what this student and parent checklist is in a second too. So I'm going to keep going on with the week here. So modeling Mondays to do Tuesdays. I won't see you here, but you have some to-do list stuff. Probably I'll add stuff as we go. And then Wednesdays, cause it's short and we're going to do a reality check on, are we ready for our recordings? Okay. And to help you with that on Thursday, I have an opportunity to help you some more, but these are things that are due on your own time. Okay. Obviously Fridays when things are due. So I call that freaky Friday, right? It's cause that's when uh, the major grade is due. Okay, and then I kind of give you what's coming up next week because we changed the fundamental skill of the week and we have a different uh, region cut that's due on Friday and the same thing the following week. Okay, so please print that out and check that out. I'm going to back it up now. All right, so I'm going to back it up here to the yellow folder where we have our course content. We already went over grading period one and there are some supplemental things here. Like we just went over this weekly schedule. These are your fall region cuts. If you're like, what is cut one? What's cut two? I have that in there, although I do put it in your assignments, just so everything's clear. And then right here is how I'm going to grade you. I would print this out and read through this so you know how you're gonna be graded. It will describe your videos. If you read through this, it'll kind of talk you through how you're gonna get certain points, and then those points will convert to grades. Now, I do wanna draw your attention to something. During the first three weeks, you see this parentheses? I have an easier grading scale the first three weeks right here in parentheses, but after the first three weeks, we're gonna go to the real deal uh, grading, okay? Now, if you're a win ensemble, it's a little bit harder grading. If you're in symphonic and concert band, it's a little bit easier. So I would check that out and read through that, okay? Now, this is super important. I know we're in week two, but already today on Monday, we had kids struggling because they didn't do the week one stuff, which was actually an assignment I sent over Remind over the summer for you guys to complete before we started school. So parents, if your students haven't done this yet, go and ask them, and they're gonna really struggle this week if they haven't done this rhythm sheet, okay? This is a video tutorial that I've already created so they can watch it whenever they want, or they can go back, and if they didn't understand something, they can hear it again, and there's the rhythm sheet right there. Rhythm sheets, region music should all be printed. So speaking of that, let's back it up here. So I'm gonna back it up back to the yellow folder. So again, under grading period one, I have these resources that we're gonna use, okay? Some of your fundamental skills of the week are gonna be based on the handbook, okay? And then, of course, here's your region music. You, these, all this region music stuff should be printed. You need to be able to write on it and everything. And again, I have my lesson here as well and the rhythm sheets there again. This is the tempo range for the piece, um, but usually I'm gonna give you a tempo range in your assignment. So that's what's going on with grades this first month or so. Now we're gonna get into the second folder here. This is where there's a lot of information for students and parents. So this is where I have, obviously this is how you can contact me with my email and then remind, and this is about me. So right here is your student checklist. This is what I want printed for a grade for Tuesday. And then there's a parent checklist too. And I want that printed, so I'm encouraging you guys to go through that checklist and make sure you've done those things. If you're not signed up for Remind right now, and that's on the checklist, then you're missing out on a lot of information already. But that's the main way I'm gonna send out information this year is Remind. You've gotta sign up one parent and one student. So right here is Percussion Apps, Websites, and Logins. This is super important. And let's click in here. So you wanna make sure you're on the right Schoology course. You wanna make sure you have signed up for Remind. Make sure you do this, okay? If you have questions, let me know. Uh, teams, make sure we're in the right teams. I think Schoology and Teams are pretty much taken care of by now. Ensemble block, so this is huge. So parents and students, y'all need to make sure you're signing up for Ensemble Block. So Ensemble Block is a company that we were a beta tester for in the spring that really helped us get ready for our spring auditions. Basically, they take any music I give them and sync it with this program where they sync the video and the music together 
and you can create loops and slow things down and you can you have all these options it's just an amazing resource that we're going to start using it is a subscription based source so you're going to need to go in there and sign up for it but the winds usually use smart music and we didn't have anything and now we do so ensemble block is actually going to be used district wide so the district was kind enough to purchase our portal. Obviously the subscriptions they can't cover. So I need you to subscribe to that, but we are lucky the district has paid for the portal. So we have the option. If you're not signed up for Ensemble Block yet, those raw videos live in my YouTube channel, but you're gonna have to dig around and find them. And then you won't have all of the options that you have in Ensemble Block where you can see the video and the music synced and you can't uh, change it to specific percentages of tempo and you can't create loops. So it's gonna it's gonna be a lot harder to get the benefits from it, but this, that exists there. Um, but again, there's hunting around that you're gonna have to do, and I don't want to discourage our students at all. The music directory uh, students need to be aware of how to get to the music directory because I'm gonna put things up even uh, when we're face to face and online that will live there. Okay, and of course, make sure your chimes is up to date. That should have been something that. Um, you have seen from your head director on email probably. I have my office hours here and my option tutorials. This is where you can find the Zoom link to get to my four to five Monday optional tutorials if you have questions. This is online learning expectations. You look you can look through that. It's just the the norms about you know diligent work and make sure your camera's on, all those kind of things. I would take a look at that parent so you're making sure your student is doing the things that they're supposed to do. This goes over what's major grades and what's daily grades. This goes through our percussion schedule like I see them Monday and Thursday and a little bit on Wednesday. Attendance codes if you're ever confused. All right, required equipment. It's very important to have all your equipment, but especially your practice pad and your three octave practice marimba. If you don't have those things, it's gonna be really hard to pass my class. Okay, so most of us should have all that stuff. Now there's some additional mallets that we need to get for seventh through eighth grade. Um, and there, there's some easy links here that I had them create for you. And then there's a shipping code if you ever need it for Lone Star. Lone Star is a great place to get our stuff. Full-size marimba rentals seem to be all out of stock because everybody's online and all these parents and students are trying to get full-size marimbas. So we're looking into some different options here, but our three octave marimbas should be fine for right now. It's when we're later on getting into four mallet stuff that that three octave stuff is gonna be difficult. So hopefully we're face to face by then or I have some options I'm working on that I'm not gonna confuse you with right now. I'll continue to add more here if I find different places that do have full-size marimbas that you can rent or if you wanna purchase. Uh, if you ever need to replace anything from your old beginner list, then you need to get it from here. But that beginner list is also in here, so let's look in here. So this is all the stuff you should have gotten last year. If you didn't get it, get it now. And if you need, if you lost it or broke it, you need to replace it. And it's just a couple of things that we're adding into our bag as a seventh and eighth grader. Okay, and this explains how we're using our apps and online resources. So I'm just explaining here, like we're using Schoology for obviously everything uh, as far as grades and explain things like I'm doing right now. Skyward is gonna be where we officially keep your grades. There are grades in Schoology because there's due dates and things and assignments like that. But when it's time to actually get, get grades going on for report cards or progress reports, they're gonna be held in Skyward. Um, Teams obviously is where we're seeing your kids for synchronous classes. Zoom, if we ever do some sectionals or clinics or my office hours, okay. Ensemble Block, we already talked about that a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna show you where you can look and see how Ensemble Block is an amazing resource. I have some examples for you in a second here. This is how, what I'm using my YouTube channel for and a music directory. There might be more, I'm saying down here, there might be more I'll add, but we'll see how things go. Okay, so we just went over this. Again, here's the official Skyward Schoology teams for the district. Um, right here is how to get to my YouTube channel very quickly. Now here's the Ensemble Block promo. So you can look on here and see how what amazing things are inside of uh, Ensemble Block. But we already have our portals up and there they have all your lessons for region stuff. And there's some fundamental stuff that we're gonna continue to add in there, but here's how you sign up. You click here and sign up. Parents, please, please get sign up as soon as possible. We're, we're hitting the ground running this second week, so uh, they really need this resource. All right, so this is talking about, in this next part, we're talking about Schoology video assignment requirements. So first of all, you're supposed to be playing with a backing track most of the time, an MP3 I created, or your obviously, obviously number one is your ensemble block because you can create any cut out of that as you want because you can highlight. 
but here's a video here that explains the do's and don'ts in your videos. I watched this with the kids just to show them, hey, here's why this video was good and here's why this video was bad last year and just trying to help you understand what I'm looking for because it could affect your grade or if it's not a good video and you're doing, you're not paying attention and it's not done right, you might not get credit for that video. Okay, please watch your videos after you submit them to make sure they're the correct ones and make sure that you've done the practicing already. I don't wanna watch a video of you practicing, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna get into the parent resources. A lot of this stuff is redundant, but parents, again, you have this checklist you need to print. Okay, it's a little welcome here. Same thing with the apps, okay? How we're gonna use the apps, we've already went through this. I just put here just in case you don't wanna go through your kids folder with all the extra information. Here's the ensemble block signups again. Communication. Here's how you can contact me and there's more online expectations. It's kind of the same as the, the students. And then your schedule, where to find things and district links. Okay, I think the most important part here is student support. Ways you can support your student at home. When we get uh, practice records going, make sure you're helping them Remember to do that because they can easily fail if they don't do practice records. Help your student attain all the materials and have a workspace. We already went over the required equipment and you can always call me if you have questions. Uh, sign up for all the communications and percussion apps like Ensemble Block, okay? And Remind and all those, all those things, Charms. And then I think this is the most important here. Let's get your kids signed up for private lessons, okay? You can email uh, Mr. Choppa directly and then we also have Mr. Williams and Mr. Stahl. Spots are gonna be running out soon, so make sure we're getting your kids signed up for lessons. And I believe it's a range of 23 to 25, a half hour for private lessons. Okay, so that's basic overview for what we have on Schoology here. If you have any questions, you can email me or send me a message on Remind. Thank you very much.